Yeah, my bad, I'm watching nothing. So the problem's indicating on the right front, so I think we're going to do the sensor on there. And I think if we're going to go there, maybe we need to do the burn. You see the front right's going faster than the other ones sometimes. Sometimes slower. Ah, well, well, we know we need to look at it. Big Hotel's done its thing. So, a little wherever you go, I go to the water. Say that's my bait's noise. Oh, strong. At least 50 mil an hour there. So, that one's rough. Um, we've got an ABS fault on this side. But, <laughs> um, this one's no noisy, but I suspect maybe the bearing track has fallen off. I've come detached and it's no turning with the, the bearing. I've seen, uh, seen that happen before. It's always fun on an automatic car when something like that happens. Um, but aye, so we just need to get the, get this stripped in and get the bearing changed. Go get the caliper, it's 217 mil bucks. Yeah. Put the back in there. Go get the caliper off. 217 mil bucks, sorry. Yeah, it looks like it's just been off not long ago. It's got to be past this sort of. Uh, Mr. Mikita is always a good shout, like. Um, so, what we'll need to do is we'll get the ball joint out and split this, split the track with the end, get this off and get out of the press, hopefully. I'll get the press in if I can. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, press the whole thing off. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of press and a bit of pressing off the bottom there, but Break in here, it's, it's 
get a chat out of you and get it back there. Snips if we can. Um, just see a wee bit of there, I doubt we'll be able to get it. Make a try walking it back and forth. So well, 17 again and a half. Feel a little bit old. See the pen stuck in there. One and a half chap on that. Right, still not back to budge.
Oh dear. Not good. So, we I go. What a fair run. We've already egg china sprayed all the, all the nuts and bolts. Uh, cleaned them all up. We missed our Nikita. And a wire brush. Always handy. Always handy. And a bit of Fortron. Bit of WD. Ultra wood. Always good. Always good. So, we'll see if we can get this out now. It was very rusty. Missing out of there, so quick morning for next year, I'm gonna see. Let's come back with that, let's put the nut back in, that helps that. So, right, what we need is a lot of sharpometer. sensor as well which two little awkward clips up there that one's okay i think that one's broken but i think it's okay should go back in for starting off of it there so we'll get that um up and out the road It's not going to budge.
Okay, see what we had to do to get that. I go. We drilled it. Uh, still a wee bit of it in there, but to pump it up, we're going to get the slanker tight, so we have to pump it up. Might need to put a track with end on it, it might just need a new one now. Um, let's take a bit of punishment to get it off, so we need to put a pump up stand under it, it's no good, so uh, I think maybe uh, time for a new track even with the end, and then obviously we'll need a wheel alignment on there as well. Um, so, yeah, maybe we need a new one. So, unfortunately we had to drill that all the way, but we got it. The track with the end doesn't seem like there's any play in it. So we'll just check it again when we put it back. We'll obviously put a new split pin. Then we're going to clean all this up, get this nut off now. Um, and we'll chat about it and then we'll see about getting this tackling this bearing. I think it's had a back plate on it at some point. See, that's all rusted. It could have been what's happened to. Right, somebody's taken the back plates off it, so they've probably been rusted. But, uh, yeah, okay. Okie dokes, okie dokes. Right, let's move stuff. So there you go, we've got the, so we just need to get the base off here now. Hello! What are you saying? Right. The bearing, that's the ABS track that reads off it. So this is probably what's wrong with the other side. It's probably that track is stuck or something, um, and it's not spinning. So the, the light clears, but then it comes back after driving, I assume, because um, and it comes back. But the light was back on. So right, so that's that bearing out. Uh, I'll get this all cleaned up now uh, for the new one. And we've not damaged anything. See, we will hit the sensor. Sensor still in there. So we'll give all this a good clean because we did have a right fight getting that uh, bloody sucked up out of there and obviously you've seen the track rod end as well it was a bit of a nightmare so we'll get there Fighting is all the way, suck up's broken on it now Let me try and slacken this side hopefully now It's well rotten in there, so there is grease still in it but It was real noisy so It was really fighting as this suck up But I will not be beaten I have managed to move it, so you can see what we've did. We have a gap, yep. Yeah. Right, we'll be able to get a screwdriver underneath and chap and get that the rest of the way off, thankfully. Thank good. LIGO wheel burn. So, you can see it's got a little cap on it. It's falling off, so it's done its job. It's there to protect that magnetic ring, which the hub goes out towards the sensor. So that's the drive shaft side. So, you can see I've cleaned all that hole and I've cleaned the front face as well um, just so there's no interference with anything I've cleaned it all as best I can I uh, cleaned it all out of the fire and stuff like that so get the bearing so we'll get that bearing which this is the one that came out it yeah this is the one that came out it so we we'll used to press in, but obviously we're going into there, we're going in that way, so we're not touching that uh, ABS. Yeah, so the ABS is around the right way, so we need to be careful we don't damage that. So, yep, we'll get that all taken care of. 
Ooh, I didn't even clean up. going up now so we'll stop there you can see the gauge okay we're not very near but we are all the way home so well, now we need to get our uh, flange pressed on there now and we need to put a big suck up in here so we'll do that now we'll get our big suck up so it's going to give it a blow up i'm going to give it a big blow out We've got a big snap on the up pliers. This one's two piece up. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. It's the magnetic bit. So, see that there? That's a uh, sip up. Which these are good, these sip up pliers. These can uh, be flipped around so they can do, you know, add some out. Squeaky off. We'll get her. Snap one snips actually. And snip a hole in there. I can't bother fighting that. So you can see it was well you seen trying to take this off, it was very difficult, so it was well rusty then. But we will get her big wires on here. They're not the easiest these sit-ups. Right. Oh, you are doing these. Well, maybe my wee Back end of this to give it a little loft up just to make sure that's in and just give it a little sharp round in there. Make sure that's all seated okay. Yeah, I'm still turning okay. So just get a flange now to press on. So you can see the big stuff up that's in there. I can see that it's all nice and seated. Clean the ABS magnetic bit as well. So we'll get this on the press now. Right, press it, press it. Press the flange on now. You see we're holding it at the back. So if you just press that without holding anything, you'll just push the, the inner brace right off. So we need to press the two of them together. So, and again, nice and easy. You can see that coming just now. So, no issues there. Send it all the way home, just like for the gauge to start rising. I'm not like to press this too, but it's an interfere with that, so it's not going to run anywhere. Watching the gauge, and I can feel it myself. Let's finish it. There we go, I just have to feel it. I'm plugging it into really cool. So that's all good. Why not for that? That's it. So that's it, flanges all pressed together, you know, and sockets down that we've used. 
and hopefully no more noisy will be on then so hopefully that'll be no noisy we can do all this up as well just to get it back together happy days so putting a little angle back together now so I'll we'll be all done just rebuild the thing now so we shall <coughs> zip zip time so 17 on this big pinch hole in there the strut A big US pool lever, uh, 36 inch, I think. Uh, not bad, you can get it on Amazon. Um, do the same job as uh, the snap on one for a third of the price, probably. Well, like, uh, not that the snap on one seems good. Well, it ain't good, the snap on stuff's good. It <laughs> really is, you get the paper on the day. So, that's pretty much that back together. Um, I know we had the difficult uh, track road end uh, removal. Um, we had to drill out that spot pin, so we'll see if we can get that back on first. Is what we'll do. So, we've got a castellated nut, um, which looks alright, it's just been the spot pin and stopping a bit, and I have cleaned all this. Um, let's see if we get that back on. And if it'll tighten back up, we don't play on it. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Here it is. I mean, it's a three-water, so it's pretty decent. I'm going to get a new spot for a minute. Okay. Uh, I think it's probably a lot like that. Just getting enough out of it. Um, 
Snap on Spanish. Hey, so just this a bit back on. So you can see that we've got a spot pattern now, so. 